So this is a randomized phase two study which used a woman with P or TP53 mutant ovarian cancer to either standard therapy with carboplatin and paclitaxel or standard therapy plus the study drug, which is the AZD1775, which is a WE1 inhibitor, which uh, halts progression from G2 to M in the cell cycle. Uh, the primary endpoint was progression-free survival per an enhanced resist criteria, which is a volumetric measurement. And they did not meet that uh, primary endpoint, but they did meet one of their secondary endpoints, which is progression-free survival by the more conventional resist criteria looking at uh, diameter. Um, and they found a progression, uh, a, prog a decreased progression rate of uh, 45%, which was statistically significant, um, and a progression-free survival advantage of eight weeks. Um, while it's questionable whether that eight-week survival advantage is uh, clinically significant, I think this is an exciting study that should be looked at further. I think especially because it is a biomarker-directed study, um, as well as the, f the fact that it's exploiting the mutation that caused the cancer to actually treat the cancer.